Hey everyone, welcome back to North of Seven Cards. Today we're going to be doing some more WWE Panini Impeccable. Hope you all had a great week of watching some great wrestling from WrestleMania to whatever that was on Dynamite. Feel free to let us know in the chat who you have in this break. I'll make sure to give you a shout out if you have it. And if we pull it, and without further ado, let's get into it. There we are. Move this back. Still hoping to pull my first gold bar. I have not pulled one, but I am anxiously awaiting the first. Come on, Stacks. I'll get you some. See if I can get you some Channing Stacks Lorenzo. All right, let's put that there. Here's our pack. Here's our card. I feel like that's a man, potentially. We're gonna put that up there for now. Bailey and Eosky, you got the WrestleMania match. Let's see if I can pull both of them for you there. Let's see what we've got. All right, our first card, we have a 34 out of 49 for Jimmy Uso. Here we have a two out of 99 for Raquel Rodriguez. Mello is money, a 1 out of 35 for Carmelo Hayes. Our first autograph is of Mr. Stone, manager extraordinaire. This is one of those extravagance autos. That is 33 out of 75. Our next auto is one half of the Nasty Boys, Jerry Sags, with the indelible ink that is 20 out of 25. Next up, we have a Hacksaw Jim Duggan. That is 8 out of 75. Got Razor Ramon, Road Dog, Mankind. See if I can get those for you. Feel free to let out a hole in order for this Hacksaw Jim Duggan card. Good luck to all. And uh, Castlevania, I think you're going to like what we have here. We have got... A Bailey 48 out of 49 with the patch, with the mem and the auto for the big WrestleMania winner. Congratulations, Castlevania, on that. We, in our final card here, we have a Redemption that is for Charlotte Flair, the Elegance Memorabilia Autograph Silver, and that is card number 77. Yeah, congrats, Castlevania. She won at Mania. You've won so far at this break. Big hit. What we got here? It is the Animal Batista 
with the silver ounce that is number 24 out of 35 for Dave Batista. Yeah, there are a ton of redemptions in this product, particularly Charlotte Flair. I've noticed a lot of Charlotte's stuff is a redemption. Very nice for the Batista and Dave. We'll go right over here. Kind of does look like he's holding the bar. It's pretty funny. Or like he's he's lost an arm. And the bar is his arm now. It's pretty funny. All right, box number two. Just imagining a Dave Bautista like villain with a bar for an arm because he's now a movie star, so wouldn't shock me. All right, that is going to be one of those stainless stars right there. All right, let's see what we got here. Booyaka, 84 out of 99 for Rey Mysterio. The High Flying Ricochet, that's 40 out of 49. One of my favorites. We have the Viper, Randy Orton with the three out of five on the parallel, very nice. He should have won at Mania. That is just my opinion. Our redemption here is for Hoovy, Hooventude Guerrera with the Immortal Inc. card number 16. The Juice. Our auto here is of Xavier Woods of the New Day. We've got 37 out of 75 with the mem and the auto. Very nice. If I move this Batista over, it kind of just looks like he's peeking over. Here we have ECW legend, The Sandman. That is number two out of 75. Greatest entrance in the history of wrestling. I don't know if you've seen his entrance from One Night Stand, I think in 05. And I guess all his entrances from the original ECW. And here we have a Stacy Keebler, 92 out of 99 with the Immortal Inc. Very nice. And this Stainless Stars is of coming off his big loss at WrestleMania, the head of the table, Roman Reigns. Still got those titles in the card. Doesn't have them in real life. This is number six out of 75 for Roman Reigns. Wonder when we'll see him again. Hope he takes some well-earned time off. Well, well-earned. 
Sandman versus Taker for the longest entrance. You know, you can throw uh, throw Roman Reigns into that and make it a triple threat for the longest entrance. You could probably have a whole show of just them making their way to the ring. Move Batista over there, our final box. Tell you what, Taker has a long entrance, but at Mania, he was moving. I don't know if you've seen that video of him sprinting. For a guy his age, he uh, who spent his entire career not moving very fast. Kudos to him. This is another one of those stainless stars. Put that there, final pot, final pack. Good luck, everybody. Give this a little spin. First off, we have our Xavier Woods, 94 out of 99. Yeah, that is the fastest I've ever seen Undertaker move. It's pretty funny, to be honest. One half of the Street Profits, we got Montez Ford. That's two out of 49. We have the former North American champion, Wes Lee. That's 64 out of 99. Hope he comes back soon, too. We have a redemption for Sheamus with the Elegance Memorabilia Auto. That is card number 61. Congratulations. I think Sheamus and Charlotte are the two where... The majority of them are redemptions. We have an auto here of Wendy Chu. That's number four out of 25. Well, I'm wishing you all the best getting some Jet Greaves out of that break. This break's going pretty good. We got our... Dave Batista over here pulled a Bailey. Got a couple cards left in this final box. Wish you all the luck with that Jet Greaves over there. Columbus does need goaltending. Hopefully, I can get you a Marlena as well, Castlevania. Our next card here, one half of the new tag champs, Grayson Waller. It's 12 out of 75 with the Mem and the Auto. Yeah, congrats on the hit, Andrew, with the uh, Wendy Chu. Here we have a legend of women's wrestling, Alundra Blaze, 53 out of 93 with the SummerSlam 93 card right there. That title belt is amazing. I, they need more titles that are white. Like with the white background, it looks so nice. I'm also waiting for the first person to do what she did and jump ship and drop a title belt into the trash. And our final card here is a Bianca Belair, 31 out of 49, the Elegance Auto and uh, and Mem, very nice. Yeah, Grayson Waller does have a nice signature. Just G Wall. Doesn't have to get more complicated than that. And our final card is a Stainless Stars. I'm glad you saw Jet Greaves all the way up from the ECHL. It's always impressive when a guy from the ECHL makes it to the bigs. I give them credit. Final stainless stars is of mankind. Very, very nice. 
Congratulations, Jack of all trades. There is your Mankind Stainless Stars. That is 20 out of 49. All right, let's take a look back at what we have pulled today. I'll get this out of the way. Let's take a look at what we've pulled, starting with our parallels. We have our Mankind Stainless Stars, our Wesley, that's 64 out of 99, Montez Ford, 2 out of 49, Xavier Woods, 94 out of 99, Roman Reigns, Stainless Stars, that's 6 out of 75. Our Randy Orton, 3 of 5. Ricochet, 40 out of 49. Rey Mysterio, 84 out of 99. Carmelo Hayes, 1 out of 35. Raquel Rodriguez, 2 out of 99. And Jimmy Uso, 34 out of 49. Glad you got that hit, Castlevania. As per our SPs, if you give me one sec. I don't know if we have any more this week. But just keep your eyes posted because we very well could get more. I believe there's going to be more on Monday. Yeah, there should be more SP on Monday. And now our autos. We have got Bianca Belair with a 31 of 49. Our Alundra Blaze, 53 out of 93. Grayson Waller, that's 12 out of 75. Wendy Chu with the 4 out of 25. Congrats again, Andrew. Sixty-one for the Seamus Elegance Memorabilia Auto. The Immortal Ink, Stacy Keyboard, that's 92 of 99. Sandman, 2 out of 75. This should be like a, a scratch and sniff with like a beer or something. 37 out of 75 for Xavier Woods with the Mem and Auto. Juventud Guerrera, Juventud Guerrera, 16 on the Immortal Ink. 77 for Charlotte Flair on the Elegance Memorabilia Auto Silver. Another congratulations on the Bailey pull right there for Castlevania. 48 out of 49. We have our 8 out of 75 on the Indelible Ink for Hacksaw Jim Duggan. We have our 20 out of 25 for Jerry Sags. And a 33 out of 75 for Mr. Stone, who uh, I think needs a little work on that signature. Mr. You can see Mr. I'll give him that. You can definitely see the Mr. Maybe if you signed it as Robert Stone, it'd look better. And of course, our Batista. Silver, it's 24 out of 35 with what looks like a missing arm. <laughs> Thank you again for joining us here today for our Panini Impeccable break. Feel free to check out some of our later breaks as well as checking us out on eBay for individual player listings. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Congratulations again on your hits.